Hi, uh, good morning. So today let's talk about the evolution of intracranial hemorrhage. Before we tackle this table on the evolution, let us first uh, review some important uh, concepts. So first, uh, when we say diamagnetic, it means the substance has no unpaired electrons and would reduce the applied magnetic field. If these electrons are people here, when paired, they are calm and satisfied. When unpaired, these electrons are sad and agitated and will cause some stirring of the magnetic field. Now, these lonely electrons will seek or try to find a new connection or interaction with the proton from water. Um, but before the lonely electron and the proton, water proton can meet, the hem must allow them to meet. When the hem is dome shaped, they will be kept apart. If the hem is planar, they will be allowed to meet. So later we will see this uh, hems again. Now for this table, um, for the different states of hemoglobin, only oxyhemoglobin is uh, diamagnetic, diamagnetic, or without unpaired electrons. The rest of these are uh, paramagnetic because of their unpaired electrons. So when the inside of the cell is paramagnetic, while the outside of the cell is diamagnetic, there is what we call a compartmentalized gradient, which will be, uh, which would reflect as decrease T2 signal. Third concept, when the electron finds or interacts with the proton, there is what we call a dipole-dipole interaction, which will show as a T1 shortening or T1 bright signal. Um, another term for this dipole-dipole interaction is the electron-proton dipole-dipole interaction. 